fell within seven seconds approximately from top to bottom. This building was built in the mid-80s and uh, met all the codes at the time. The fact that it looks like a, a perfect controlled demolition of an intact building. I mean, that's what I call a smoking gun. Explosives are used to demolish buildings like this in just seconds. Okay, so it's a controlled demolition. What's the problem with that? Well, it happened on the afternoon of 9-11 at the World Trade Center. We heard this, this sound that sounded like a clap of thunder. It looked like there was um, a shockwave uh, ripping through the building and the windows all uh, busted out. About a second later, the bottom floor caves out. The building followed after that. He takes his hand off and you hear three, two, one, and it was boom, 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 boom. And I turned in time to see uh, what looked like uh, a skyscraper implosion. It looked like it had been done by a demolition crew. You were just tucked into bed 1.30 or 2 o'clock in the morning, and you saw and felt things. Describe what you went through. So we were sound asleep, as were probably most people in the building. We heard uh, a weird sound. It could have been thunder, but it didn't, it didn't really sound like thunder, and we felt the building shake. And we knew something was up. It rattled us. We immediately got out of bed. We looked around. We looked out the window. Our apartment faces the street. And we, I saw a plume of smoke coming up. Very unusual shape. And just everything about it was unusual. someone in there or somebody who who came out we were able to speak to actually somebody who was in the building she lives on the ninth floor she was asleep when this happened she said it felt like a bomb went off take a listen to what she said the whole building shook like an earthquake and what did you think when you heard that i opened my sliding glass and i saw a plume of dust and then i opened the door and i saw that the building had pancakes in the back A weekend vacation turning into a nightmare for Albert Aguero and his family. We were asleep in bed. Our son was still awake on uh, playing video games. There were uh, three shakes, he said. The group visiting from New Jersey were inside the Champlain Towers when all of a sudden they heard a loud noise and then found themselves in the collapse zone. When I first felt it, I thought lightning hit the building or an earthquake. It thought it was some natural disaster. He then rushed over to the balcony and saw part of the building he was in had been reduced to, to rubble. So people assume uh, we are just going back uh, to the good old world which we had um, and everything will be normal again in how we are used to normal in the old fashion. This is, uh, let's say, fiction. It will not happen. Um, the the uh, cut which we have now um, is much too strong uh, in order not to leave traces. But we have another choice. We can build a new social contract, particularly integrating the next generation. We can change our behavior to be in harmony with nature again. 
and we can make sure that the technologies of the fourth industrial revolution are best utilized to provide us with better lives. In short, we need a great reset.